Alright, this Eskimosi is big, gorgeous, sexy hair, but more complex than just adding one wig to another. This is going to show you one, two, three, four wigs with one, two wig bumps. So I've got a big fall um, in the back, and then I'm going to show you how to do these. You can really use any type of wig. This is a layered, like a Tina Turner, and I'm just going to take it upside down so that all the layers are, you know, down here. And I'm going to put it in a ponytail. Okay, now the trick to this, when you're doing a big updo like this, take the ponytail on the end, right here, and that's why I like to use a ponytail, because you can actually tuck it under and pin the ponytail part to your head again, like that. Now when doing a look like this, you're going to want to make sure it's very smooth. So I always spray everything down and smooth it out with a frizzy brush or a bristle brush. Okay, like that. Make sure it's very smooth. Again, this is a little piece. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm trying to put all the, all the ends in here actually. And make sure you put it in the pony to secure the ponytail. I think it makes it easier. I don't, not a lot of girls do the ponytail trick, but I do because that way you can secure more than one hair. You know, you get all of them. So you're securing all the hairs in that ponytail. This one's becoming a bugger. Let's see. There we go. I decided to add another piece. So I am going to use this little tiny, I guess like a ponytail, it's like a little fur ball, and put it in my hair as well. Things like this, you have um, like little clips in here. So you're going to put that in there. Like that. Safety pin it. Bobby pin it, I mean, not safety pin. And then Bobby pin up here. As well. All right. And that was a Misty Minute with big, sexy, gorgeous pageant hair. See you next time.